It's me, Stephen ASMR1, coming to talk to you today about bad weather. Bad weather seemingly comes to rain on our parades, to ruin our days, to take our joy far, far away, and yet we need that rainfall. We need that calming darkness. We need to be soothed in our own way, in our own time, with both light and darkness, blue skies and cloudy. Life is like that, isn't it? We need both good and bad, both blue skies and gray, to really make the most of it. Something that always strikes me when I focus on a darker period is that no one grew stronger from an easy life. Now, periods of rest are great, periods of escape, periods of freedom, periods of hope. Absolutely, I'm not saying that at all. I'm not saying that rest and reprieve and peace and hope are bad. No, no, no. I'm just saying that if life were literally perfect and easy for everyone, no one would ever get stronger. We grow stronger through suffering. We grow stronger through overcoming things. We grow through the storm clouds and the rain coming now and then. It's not necessarily fun. It's not necessarily easy. It's not necessarily the best thing, is it? Yet they come, don't they? Storms come, so do sickness, and pain, and even death. Something my friend Jimmy mentioned on Instagram today, though, death is not something that you can simply ignore. Sickness happens, pain comes. We cannot escape such things, no matter how hard we try. My cousin Tim, who was a Marine, said that it's easier to lean in, to embrace the suffering. You see, if you lean in to embrace the suffering, you're not so spent by resisting it, even though it's still going to be there regardless. You can resist suffering. You can resist pain all you want, but it's still going to come, and you're just going to be exhausted when it gets through. Or you can lean in, jaw clenched, eyes wide open, to embrace the things that come at you. It's not always going to be easy, or friendly, or peaceful, or zen. Heaven knows, I know. It's not my favorite either. If life were a role-playing game and that were some sort of skill, I would surely seek it out and try to level it up, right? If I could suffer with a smile on and not even notice the pain, not even known as sadness, not even known as trials and tribulations. I would probably do that, as would everyone else. We want things easy, don't we? We want things simple. We want things to be okay. Sometimes they simply cannot be okay. Sometimes storm clouds must obscure that perfect blue sky. And sometimes your sunshine must, must, must be taken from you. And in their absence, in the absence of that blue sky, of that 
warm, delicious feeling of sunshine on your skin is something different, true, uncomfortable, maybe, but it's something that we need. Bad weather will come, and whether we resist it or we embrace it, it will pass through our homes and our hearts. We must be ready one way or another. And sometimes that feels exhausting to me, trying to be ready for pain and suffering. It doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense. That's probably part of my anxiety, my panic disorder, being too ready for pain and suffering to come, being apprehensive, almost looking for it in every moment of every day. I'm not recommending that. Please understand. I'm not recommending that you go looking for pain and suffering. There's plenty enough in the world for all of us, right? But I do think keeping your eyes open for it and accepting it, embracing the trial when it comes in order to grow, instead of letting it devastate you to the very core of your being and destroy you, that is the essence of learning and growing stronger, I think anyway. So far a lot of comments on this channel have just been that my voice is nice, so maybe I'm just saying nice things for people to listen to to relax, and that's awesome if that's all you get from this, is a relaxing tone. Please just be relaxed. But for those of you that actually listen and care, thank you. Thank you so much. Because we all must suffer. We all must experience pain and trials. We all must walk the length that we've been given to walk. In my mind, this is a weird way for us all to do it together <laughs> and to grow and learn together and to find peace together and to find rest together. This weekend, my sub number doubled. That's amazing. I'm so thankful. I'm so blown away by that. This is a good weather day when I open my YouTube and see that. Tomorrow is Monday. People go back to work, people go back to their lives, people go back to doing the things that they have to do. And I'm not going to see my number double tomorrow or the next day. And that's okay because I saw it this time and I appreciate it for what it is. And the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday that are coming ahead, I'm going to embrace them head on, jaw clenched, eyes wide. And I hope you are all going to do the same with me. Until next time, again, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart, and again.